Hello, beautiful being. Welcome to today's check-in. Um, we're going to call for reinforced protection today because we're going to bring to the table some very, very controversial topics. So we're going to call in for uh, protection from our star family and from Archangel Michael. And we're going to clear the space as usual. Um, as you can see, the energy has completely shifted uh, all around me. It is definitely my favorite topic of all to talk about and unpack all the spiritual stuff that uh, are still a little bit hidden, just a little bit under the surface. Um, but we're definitely shifting uh, this paradigm and we are going to integrate uh, our spiritual layer of being into our day-to-day -day because there is no other way without it we're just you know animals in survival and stay tuned until the end because we are of course going to work with the starseed oracle to bring in some message for the collective for you guys today Ooh, um those of you who are watching those of you who are in my space uh may identify as star seeds and i wanted to bring in a little bit of a fresh new perspective on on what that means on what being a star seed is because you know there's just so much out there and we gotta come back to the basics we gotta come back to an understanding oh my gosh it's 11 11 um <laughs> we're gonna come back to an understanding of um what it really means right beyond the fluff beyond the labels beyond the commercial definition of it so um we are at a very 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 pivotal point in um the earth's history and now i'm saying to the two um we came here star seeds we do not you know mm, we do not originate from earth we feel a connection to earth because we have uh, most probably most certainly we have had quite a few past lifetimes here and those of you who identify as being a, an old soul you know that you carry a lot of wisdom on how things work on planet earth um we came here for a specific reason we came here on a mission we are here um to um, help earth ascend to a higher level of consciousness this is why a lot of us have been born in families where there was a lot of emphasis on survival and struggle and karmic patterns and things like that because we ourselves came here as a, like a blank page right we had to learn the karmic stuff all over again and then to unlearn those patterns so that we can help humanity do the same there you go um but on a soul level, we will we have always felt that this is just not our place. We have always felt that we do not belong here. <laughs> we are simply on a mission. We are simply here to um, ground this new understanding and to um, to fulfill our soul's purpose, right? Just imagine us being, you know, up there, for lack of a better word, up there on our starships, on our beautiful uh, I don't know, 12D uh, realms of existence, just basically chilling and, um, you know, being a beautiful light body beings and, you know, all beautiful stuff. And there was a call, there was a call from planet Earth saying, I am dying i am basically sinking i am going to disappear help right so we those of us who have heard the call 
we have volunteered to come here and go through the stuff, go through all this for the love that we have for this planet, for the love that we have for all cosmic order and for, you know, our duty as spiritual warriors, because, you know, we've done this before in other places. We are basically, we are, you know, a lot of us can identify with being warrior souls who they know how to do this thing. They know how to elevate uh, entire realms of existence to a higher level of consciousness going to have a little bit of a tea break all right come back um and so uh is it working yeah it's working (sighs) where was i and so when we arrived here um we had to put on our you know human costume or human clothes or human uh, avatar (laughs) Uh, and, um, really there was no cheat code. We came here just as every other soul and we did the thing. The difference is that we have always had this almost like antenna. Um, (laughs) we always had this like spiritual connection, uh, to our star family, to our soul family, to our soulmates, to our um, mission. It's just that uh, it was covered um, underneath all these layers of human conditioning. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I am... I have always been, especially as a child, I have always been connected to the stars. Um, I am a Syrian star seed, which is basically the the most, the brightest star on the sky. And I have always, always been very um, aware that... I had this big purpose. I had this mission, right? Well, obviously I had to go through steps like childhood and, you know, high school and trauma, 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 trauma. And, you know, there were some steps before all that. And then obviously it was the big undoing of all these systems and um, levels of being that I've learned. Um, And... When it comes to um, when it comes to our mission, the reason why I I think I'm gonna call this video like karmic battle. Uh, we have had to fight karmic battles. We have had to go through a phase of our mission, which was really not pleasant, you know. Uh, but you know, there is a big force inside of us that knew that this is why we came for. This is you know we gotta we got to suck it up, we got to go through it. Um, And it is really our reverence, it is the reverence and the respect we carry for this mission and this planet and this, um, you know, our star family, our ascended masters, those of us, those of, (laughs) those who are guiding us, um, that we, we just kept going. We, we really have like this um, unshakable force within us that it is, resilience that just you know comes from somewhere and so here is the um, you know controversial part of the of this uh, talk that is you know just my opinion my view on how I see things and how uh, it is basically a set of beliefs that have helped me navigate life in a way that was um uh in a way that was, you know, with more ease and with more clarity. And so um, we, there's going to be a split in, um, in the Earth's trajectory where um, those of us who have chosen to ascend, we are going to go on a higher dimension, on a 5D timeline. 
the new earth timeline and the others who have chosen who have not chosen uh this path will simply uh go on a you know will continue this cycle of karma and um, you know devil dark energies and you they're just gonna continue moving on this um cycles repeated cycles over and over again um Star seeds have been seen as um, danger to those who want to keep this earth, want to keep the show going. <laughs> those who want to keep this earth on a lower vibrational frequency because it's in their best interest. Now, I call these the reptilians. And this is one of my understandings of, you know, I don't, I don't like to put labels on this complex thing we call life and humans and um, the mysteries of life. But I see very, very big similarities between reptilians and what seem to be called in the psychological world, narcissists. You see, we fundamentally operate very differently. And one of the biggest issues in, <laughs> one of the biggest, eh, challenges in you know our star submission is to understand that there is a devil agenda if you want to go religious there is a 3d agenda and there is a 5d agenda which is ours um and we have been you know a lot of us have have had to go through this phase of um, understanding of um acknowledging the dark side of life because you know we come here as like you know high vibrational beings and we carry this pure frequency and we you know come on earth and then we look around and then we see oh my god like why are they fighting over land why are they uh i don't know why are they uh being against each other all these concepts that for us are just like just complete nonsense and you know we have to really understand we have to really um assimilate this uh 3d concepts that are based on survival and that are based on you know this reptilian agenda and this 3d matrix system um that basically just wants to keep people um trapped um and so our mission is really to come here and help those who are willing to go on this timeline. We are not here to change everyone and everything. We're not here to, uh, you know, change the world. I'm re One second. Hmm. Okay, let's just hope it's working. My mic has some issues. All right. Um, we did not come here to save the planet. I mean, in a way. But we came here to just assist those who want to ascend with us. Um, we came here to... Um, we came here mainly for the planet, for uh, nature, for Mother Gaia, and then, you know, for the humans who want to be on that realm with us, right? The dangers uh, for us have always been, you know, those who are on the other timeline and on the, you know, uh, robotic AI uh, agenda. Because basically, this is what's going to happen, right? Those are those who are disconnected from their heart center, from their heart space, from their love for the planet, and they are on a destructive timeline and agenda, are those who are going to go on the AI um, uh, robotic uh, reality. There is there is going to be a reality like that, but we're just not going to be part of it because this is not the way we came here. We did not come here to um, become robots. Um, and we've seen how hard it was to get out of that karmic cycle, to get out of, you know, the influence of, you know, all these narcissistic 
uh, tactics and all these mind control systems, whether you learned this in a you know broader environment, whether it was a relationship, um, a job, and any any circumstance in which you had to learn and go through this initiation for your uh, for your own evolution. These are called karmic uh, patterns, karmic situations, but they are they are playing a crucial role in our ascension. So, um, as I said, the star's admission is mainly mainly centered on the love we have for Earth, for planet Earth, and the you know for obviously our star family those of us who are here and those of us who are choosing to to follow us on this journey as well we are not here to you know um convince anyone that this is better convince anyone to go on this timeline with us we are basically acting at we're just coming with our rescuing sheep and those who want to come on board they're more than welcome. But those who don't, they need to fight their own battles because we are not um, we're not gonna get into fights and um, you know continue this karmic battle any longer. It's really just um, we're just gonna split, we're just gonna go on our own on our own journey, and that's what's gonna happen, right? Um, and I guess Everyone is going to try to um, gather their crew <laughs> um, as it's going to be through inspiring, to showing new ways of being, to showing new ways of um, possibilities and things that, um, things that have previously never been conceivable on Earth. And, you know, there are those who those who are going to be crazy enough to believe in our visions and their own visions and you know really help um invest into this new earth they will be coming on that timeline because our success is inevitable there is no other way um so yeah the the main part of this um journey that has been sort of concluded it that there has been a huge karmic cycle that has been ended on planet earth right now and that was around um releasing purifying our systems from lower level energies um detaching from the dark uh devil reptilian agenda and this is what we have concluded and now it's really time for us to start building the new earth it's a, it's a time of you know celebration in a way but mostly uh construction um it's a productive time it's no longer um having to you know be on a constant almost uh like heightened alert state because you know it's we are not protected or uh that we we are still somehow under the influences of these heavy energies um the energy is really lightening up for those of us who have chosen the um, the higher timeline and we are really just gonna um just have so much fun creating this beautiful new world so yeah all right this is uh just a message very quick message but uh we're gonna talk more in depth about it there's gonna be interesting okay um there's gonna be workshops on it like we are really really going to um, ground and anchoring our visions and we are going to do it in a very powerful way together activated earth <laughs> power places ley lines trust where you're led all right so we're gonna read a little bit about it because it's um activated earth okay here we go here we go 
So ley lines are invisible pathways on the land along which energy travels. <laughs> They can be sensed when we tune in to them with our subtle senses. Also known as spirit paths, they've been compared to the meridian system of the body used in Chinese medicine, and they link sacred sites, stone circles, um, and places of worship worldwide. In Australian Aboriginal con uh, culture, song lines were the paths traveled by the creator beings as they made the land and sea during the dreaming. These paths were recorded in the traditional songs and dances of the people, allowing them to access information about the land's history and to travel safely across great distances. Many people that as we many believe that as we visit such sacred points on earth, something is activated within us. Some also believe that by connecting with the land, with devotion at these sacred places, something is activated within the planet too. Are you being called to travel to a sacred place that your soul remembers? All right. This is huge. Why? Uh, because as we... So there have been places on earth that have had their karmic cycles, right? And as we are... I'm personally called to a very, very special place um, right now. And um, I know that this is the place of my mission. This is the place where I can actually really sustain a high vibrational state, right? I'm still, I'm seeing two, 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 two. Um, this is collaboration and partnerships. Um, so as we are being called to new places, you got to trust in your heart that this is where it all starts. This is where we are anchoring in. This is where we can actually sustain the high vibrational um, energies um, that we came that we came here to um, spread and we came here to build from and we came here to um, activate those who are willing to do so. All right, so I will... And this year, I am so excited for this journey ahead. I'm looking forward to connecting with all of you. This is this channel has been um, a big dream in my heart because I've always wished to connect with my star family here on Earth, and I know it's the beginning of something just amazing that we are we're gonna create together. And um, I'll leave you guys there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.